We have come up and down since like we got some beautiful farmers. We have thousands of onion lottery. We make probably 6,000 more on Tuesday. So everything is from small farmers. We support them all organic. And naturally, every year we make a lot of vegan dishes. This is the 29 year since we do the Governor's Ball, the Oscar party. And I think it's always fun. It's always something new. Just like the movie world, you know, they always have new movies movies out so we make new dishes but also some traditional you know we make for years now our smoked salmon oscars with caviar and we make the chicken pot pie with black truffles and we make always different kind of anilotis and then we have newer things like we have chef Elliot from Cut in London one of our restaurants there and he said I told him let's make something English so he said okay we're gonna have a English trifle with sherry and we're gonna have fish and chips the best way, gluten-free and everything, and then one as pièce de résistance, we're gonna have a beef Wellington. So that's a great thing. And our friends from Japan, we always use some Miyazaki beef, which is the best Japanese beef, and we get some delicious uh, pranzino or ludemea. We're gonna cook it really slightly and serve it with a bouillabaisse sauce, like a slightly reduced sauce like that with tomatoes and saffron and a little roux in it. So it's going to be a delicious meal. And Gary made us all the chocolate cigars and the whole pastry department going to look like a pastry shop. Alright, he is the king of the cigars. He used to work for Dunhill or Cohiba or both of them. Also some traditional things, so because people really wait for it and ask for it, you know, like when we make I, we are fine. So you don't have to do more. <laughs> but I said we have to do more. How do you keep leveling it up every day? You have some classics like the, the um, chocolate. Um, yeah, we always make we start planning about a month to six weeks ago. You know, for us it's really really easy because we do it for so many times and Gary and Eric and uh, Michael and everybody and Jake they already know what they have to do so it makes it easy for me so I don't have to worry too much because they are so good I think it was the first year when we were here and it was cold outside and raining and they had a lot of heaters everywhere, electric heaters, and all of a sudden in the middle of serving the gas, the electricity went out, the gas went out and everything. And I thought, oh my God, how are we going to serve the last 800 people now that we can't cook anymore? So we put up the little sterno cookers and I said, I'm going to cook the steaks like in there. And thank God, we found the engineer downstairs and he came and switched it on and nobody really knew that something bad happened. But for me, I almost got a heart attack. Well, we're going to have a great menu this year again. And it's always about tradition and innovation. So we make new things and do some of the old things. You know, from the old things, everybody knows already our chicken pot family. I, I think Top Gun is really it was really a good, very enjoyable movie. So I think Tom Cruise maybe uh, might not win, but he might win as the producer, and then we'll see a few other ones. Cook was a cook, and we let the director and producer make the movie and the food to see the food. All right. So during the show, we'll actually be in in this ballroom, kind of doing our last minute preparation, get everything ready, get the get a uh, kind of a bigger version of this bar all set up and ready to go, um, and. Like everybody else, kind of keeping an eye on our phones, who won this, who won that, you know. Everybody who wins comes through here to get their trophies engraved, which is great. So we see a lot of the faces. And they can pick up a drink if they want. And, you know, it's been fun. Uh, a couple of years ago, Frances McDormand, when she won her trophy, was sitting on our bar when some knucklehead, you know, threw it in his bag and tried to sneak out of here with it. Give it a good shake. And then we've got our a little bouquet of sage and mint um, that we've clipped on with our gold clip just to make it, again, the idea of celebration and fun. Strain that out and beautiful, easy. Um, they'll be drinking these at the gov balls. We're actually 
we're going to be serving these on the red carpet as well. We're not oh. going to do them in the coupe class because that can get a little tippy and we don't want to mess with anybody's outfit. So we'll do rocks classes of those that people can, you know, that the celebrities will be drinking as they come in the door. So hard to get yeah, in tea form. So we hydrate them into tea, make them sweet, and then that becomes an easy component to add to traditional citrus or spirit or things like that. So it's fun.